Coming. Angry Australian skipper. Hi. Hi, Ethan. Black. Oh, Ethan, right, of course. Uh, what, what can I do for you, mate? Sorry to drop in like this, but I was just passing by and I thought I'd uh, save myself the stamp. That's the invoice from the other night. Okay. Sure you've been hanging out for it. Yeah, thanks. I'll, um, I'll pass it on to Amanda. She's in charge of that sort of thing. How is your, uh, your gorgeous fiancé? She's fine. You're, you're a lucky man, you know. She's, she's quite a catch. Thanks. I'll, um, I'll, I'll pass it on. Sexy woman like that. Might have known she'd have a boyfriend. I'm sorry? Or just... The other, the other day when I asked her out, she said she had a fiancé, but I didn't believe her. You asked Amanda out? Yeah, last week, before the party. Sorry, I, I thought she would have told you. No. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks for dropping this round. Yeah, no worries. You gotta see what I bought Amanda. <laughs> I know it's a bit of overkill, but I reckon a girl can't have too many wedding mags. Oh dear. You're not overwhelmed already, are you? What do you know about Ethan? Who? Ethan Black, the catering guy, the guy who helped Amanda fix her car the other day. Oh, him. Nothing. Kelly. Um, talk to Amanda. Is something going on? I didn't say that. Look, well, Kelly, please, if you know anything, just tell me. I'm sorry, Peter. I've said all I'm gonna say. This is between you and Amanda. Are you, um... Watching this? No, it's fine, thanks. I am exhausted. I have been to so many wedding shops today. Hey, Mandy, there's something I've got. Oh, hey! I have just bought you the best pair of pants for our honeymoon. Now, I know that it's a bit far off and we haven't even started with that yet and I should be thinking about the wedding, but I couldn't resist. Kelly, can you just give us a moment, please? Of course. Is there something wrong? I'm gonna grab a seat. You know the other day when uh, your car broke down and that guy helped you fix it, what, what actually happened? I told you. He drove me to get the spare part and then he replaced it for me. And that was it. That was it? That's all that happened? Of course it is. Peter, what is this about? Ethan dropped by today to, to give us an invoice and uh, he happened to mention that he asked you out. So it's true. Okay, yes. But I said no. I mean, what's the big deal? The big deal is that you didn't tell me. Well, I'm sorry. I just, you know, I, I didn't think it was that important. Well, it was obviously important enough that you should hide it from me. I didn't hide it from you. I just didn't tell you. <laughs> okay, that's, that's fine then. You know, I can't believe we're having this conversation again. You know, I thought we were past all this trust stuff. The, the guy flirted with me. I turned him down. It, it was really harmless. I don't believe you. You know, if you can't grow up and get past this, then there is not much point in us planning a wedding. Considering your track record with marriage, Amanda, it's probably a good idea. It would save us both a lot of time and money. We'll call you tomorrow to reschedule. And, um, I'm sorry again about the late notice. Thanks. Well, that's not a good omen to have to cancel your first meeting at the reception venue. Don't be silly. All couples have hiccups along the way. Yeah, but do all grooms accuse their brides of being unfaithful? Don't blow this out of proportion, Peter. You had an argument like you've had them before. Well, then where is she? You know, why, why hasn't she come home? Because she's making you suffer. When she feels like you've suffered enough, then she'll come home. I'm sorry. This is my fault. I shouldn't have said anything. Nice try, but this is not your fault. I just think I should try calling her again. You better let her cool down before you offer her olive branches. She'll just as likely snap them in half. I just think I should call her anyway, just to make sure that she's okay. Whatever you think. I do know that Amanda cares for you very much. She wouldn't do anything to hurt you. Maybe you should try trusting that. Her sister has set her up. Your sister is very photogenic. And now they have evidence to destroy her wedding. I took them last night. If you don't cooperate, your fiancé will find himself with a full set of copies. But will he find out? The courier just dropped this off for you. Oh, who's it from? Don't know. Home and away. Tomorrow.